fascinating four corners. You know, I was in Paris, I bought this great swami here, would you come over tomorrow? And I made about 30, 40 phone calls. And everybody showed up the next day. The first group of people who were around me, they just were lying down on the floor and showing their feet right over my face and blowing cigarette and say, Swami, could you tell us something about yoga? <laughs> cultural difference. Uh, I could say a mild shock, but I didn't expect that. True, I fit in that image because I have a long beard, because they read about a guru coming from the Himalaya. And so that gives them a little comfort.
the sun salutation, which acts on all parts of the body. So that first, you get all parts of the body sort of warmed up and loosened up. And sun salutation is very powerful for doing that. Then we do the backward bends first in integral yoga. They're a little harder to do, so we do them first. Elbows up. Good, good, good. A little more up, a little more. Not to strain much. Now drape the arms up again. And then we relax into the forward bends afterwards. Exhale and slowly bend forward. Bend at the hip. Try to touch the toe. If you can, hold the leg wherever you can. After we've sort of shaken and loosened everything up, turn the body upside down and shoulders tend to drain the lymph. It looks nice if it's really straight and wet. And then we correct the neck by doing the fish and that allows the lungs to expand more fully. Catching at the throat. Five, six. Okay, see, that's where you should feel with the left leg. And finally, to turn the body from side to side to give a gentle massage to the kidneys to get rid of any waste products that we might have generated by all this moving around in the yoga class. Right. the head, wonderful. Now, give a push here. Exhale and bend forward. So we end the yoga class which, with yogic seal where you cross your legs and bend over them which stretches the parasympathetics at the base of the spine. If you can, bring that forehead onto the floor. It gets us prepared for the deep relaxation. If there's no tension in the body, there's no need for a heavy breathing. So the breath is very shallow. Then, pranayama. We observe the breath. And finally, meditation, which is the most direct path to stress management. So to consciously choose to remain peaceful in the midst of our day. That meditation has a great power to do that. Now you see, you were the witness of your own body, your own breath, and your mind. If that is so, who was the one who was observing all these things? That means you are not the body, not even the vital breath, not even the mind. There seem to be a witness. That is the essential quality of the soul, the pure soul.